Listen up, bronze. Listen up. All right, folks. So today's problem is on classical mechanics, especially the conservation of momentum. So today we have an astronaut who is throwing rocks, and we want to find the final velocity of that astronaut after she throws away all of her rocks. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so here I've got a very small diagram, but let me tear it apart. And that rock right there in my hand represents one of the rocks that the astronaut throws. Now, each of these rocks is going to be about one-fourth of the astronaut's total mass. And we're going to use that information to find out what the astronaut's final velocity will be after throwing away all nine or eight of her rocks, okay? Given the fact that after throwing the first rock, his velocity is going to be one meters per second, how will we find the velocity of the astronaut after he throws away all eight of his rocks all right now this is a simple conservation of momentum problem let's go ahead and check it out folks i really am not all thanks for watching ian Besson plus mko plus scaffolding you go learn we believe anyone can learn anything that's why our motto is memorization is a crime and that's why we partnered with thrilling Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall, fall in love, love with math and science. science.